I add the template element pointing to the right pop-up and it's working again. And that's it. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Ubuntu Productions. My name is Aaron Blanco Tejedor. And in this channel, we create web development tutorials with a focus on simplicity. And today we are going to create a Bricks Builder tutorial that is going to go straight into the Bricks Basics playlist in our channel. We are going to learn together how to trigger a dynamic pop-up inside a query look and make it work. The solution is very simple, but if you don't know how it works, you will lose plenty of time that I want to save you. I have seen this issue coming up many times in the community of Bricks Builder in Facebook. I remember one time that a user in the Facebook community was wondering why his pop-ups were not working inside a query loop. Back then I didn't know how to do it, but I decided to jump in and try to help him. And this is how I discover it. Today we are going to find the solution. And if you don't have much time or you know how to build a pop-up and how to trigger it with a interaction in Bricks Builder, you don't need to see the whole tutorial and you just will go to the right chapter in which in a few seconds you are going to learn how to do it. Let's build it. You will need to add a template, template, element, and you put it inside the card. Now you see that we have an extra element over here. So we click in the element, we select the pop-up for query loops cards. Once we put the template element inside the card that is being looped in this query loop, and we point it to the right pop-up, we save, and we see that now it's working. As simple as that. All you need to do is to put template element inside the card that is looping. If you see, I remove this. It's not working. I add the template element pointing to the right pop-up. And it's working again. And that's it. Welcome to this tutorial. First, we are going to have a look to what we have and the different elements that we are going to work with. First of all, we have a single card that loads a static pop-up. You know that it is static because the background is purple. We have a query loop that lands a dynamic pop-up and fails miserably. You know that this is dynamic because the background is green. And then we have Another one that is the same query loop with exactly the same elements, but this one, it doesn't fail miserably, but it opens the pop-up correctly. And that's what we are going to learn, this dynamic pop-up, how to open it inside a query loop correctly, so it doesn't fail miserably. What elements do we have? We have a custom post type with three cards, and this is all the content that each of the cards have. It has a title, a content, and a feature image. We have a feature image, a title, and then the content is over here. Perfect. So we have a custom post type called cards, and we have three cards that are the ones inside the query loop here. Then we have two templates. We have a pop-up for single card, that is this one, the static one, and we have a pop-up for query loops cards, that is this one. So we have two kinds of pop-ups. If we open each of them, we have first the single, the one for the single card, and this one basically doesn't have anything special, it's just a section, a block, a div, a text, and an icon that closes the pop-up. In case you don't know how to build a pop-up, the most important thing, you put the condition to the entire website. And then when you go again to template settings, here you have the styling of the pop-up itself, like the backdrop and uh, everything else that is related to the pop-up itself. It's over here in case you don't know. 
So this is the static pop-up. What do I mean with the static? A static mean that basically this is just a text that is not coming from any dynamic content. It's just a text that I have input in the input field. And this is the static pop-up, the one for the single card. Perfect. Then we have the dynamic pop-up and Everything is the same as in the, was, is the, in the one before, you see that the structure is quite similar. Everything is the same, but in this case we have an image whose dynamic data is the feature image, and then we have a content whose dynamic data is the post content. So, are dynamic, and they are going to come from the custom post type of the query loop. So that's what we are going to try to do. It, this uh, pop-up, it doesn't have anything special. Again, the only thing is that the image in the card, it has the feature image and the text, it has the post content, this post content over here for its card of the custom post type. Perfect. So how would you go normally in order to trigger a pop-up in any element that you want in Bricks. You will go to the element that you want to trigger the pop-up and I'm using this link, but you can use the heading, the card itself, the separator, whatever you want. You just go to the element and you will create an interaction. What is the interaction? The interaction is that when I click the element, something is going to happen what's going to happen here we have two options if we want the element just to the pop-up just to open without any animation we show element but if we want to put some animation in the entry we will choose a start animation we will put, for example fade in the pop-up we will put half a second I normally forget to put this S for second and then it doesn't work and then I'm debugging for 10-15 minutes until I realize that it's this S that is missing. So please don't do it yourself. You can also put 500 milliseconds, which is the same, but it's important that you put the unit. Then we are saying when I click, when the user clicks these links, you are going to start an animation, but to what? To a pop-up. And what pop-up? for the single card, that is the static one. So we save, we reload this page, and then we go to the single card, and we see that it opens the pop-up with a nice entry animation. And that's how you normally trigger a pop-up in any element in Bricks. So what's happening over here? Why this one is not working? And why this one, which is basically the same, is working? So what you would do again, in order to trigger this case, in this case, this dynamic one, you will just create the same thing. You will just create an animation in the link saying click, show element or start animation again, fade in 0.5 seconds, pop up, pop up query loops cards. That is the dynamic one. We will save this one we will refresh and we will see that when we try to open the pop-up it fails miserably even though the pop-up it says that it needs to have the feature image and the post content of this query loop it's not working and that's what brings people crazy and I have seen it many times in the Facebook community why in my query loops my pop-ups are not working and now I'm going to tell you why they are not working you need to, inside the query loop, we're going to close everything else. So inside the query loop, this thing that is looped, that is the card repeated three times, you will need to add a template, template element, and you put it inside the card. Now you see that we have an extra element over here. So we click in the element, we select the pop-up for query loops cards. Once we put the template element inside the card that is being loop in this query loop and we point it to the right pop-up, we save and we see that now it's working. 
as simple as that. All you need to do is to put template element inside the card that is looping. If you see, I remove this. It's not working. I add the template element pointing to the right pop-up and it's working again. And that's it. That's all you need to do in order to fix the dynamic pop-ups not working inside a query loop in Bricks. You just need to add that simple element called template and point it to the right query loop. I hope this video helps you to do it right in the first try and you save plenty of time knowing how to trigger a dynamic pop-up inside a query loop in Bricks. That was all for today. I hope you find this video very useful and remember that only by loving each other, only by helping each other, we can create together a kinder and more beautiful world to live in. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Bye-bye.